All right, guys. Well, it's like 1:30, and I've done 10 shingles. How awesome is that? Uh, the reason I went up in this corner is because I need to make a story pole, um, so that when I start on the other side, I am level with this corner um, because there's some obstructions. So what I'm going to do is just mark off every shingle height, and then I can put this thing up against wherever I'm working over there, and it will tell me where to start courses.
these pre-built window things is definitely one of the smartest things I've I've done. Uh, I got that idea from fine home building, and you know, there's nothing structural or important about this. It's not part of the flashing. It's strictly aesthetic. So I mean, it, it's really it doesn't matter if you put it on top of it or not. Old houses with old windows, the window frames were built into the framing and like this part was actually part of the flashing but this is purely for looks so it's a lot easier to put it over the shingles um, rather than scribe up to these angles and then on the other side of the house I built the awning on top of the shingles this one I cut the shingles in around this awning and I would definitely do it the other way so much easier and then of course the smartest thing at all of all to do would be to just not use so many shingles like maybe if i were to do it all over again i'd probably do some other siding and then maybe just do shingles up in the triangle on top of the gable ends or something as an accent I can use my story pole to do this section here. I think it's going to storm. Well, that's blowing in fast. Well, it's going to put a wrench in things. I was just starting to make good progress too. I got all the difficult cuts done. Oh, got onto an open section and there's the rain. Oh, wow. I think it'll pass pretty quick. guys well today didn't go quite as planned that rain kicked in after maybe I had been working for like five hours and uh, it's still going I thought it was gonna pass it hasn't passed um, my pants ripped so I've got a waist up shot it's pretty x-rated from below the belt <laughs> they ripped all the way down the leg um, <laughs> so I guess uh, I'll let you guys know I we have figured out what we're going to do on this last wall um, along the kitchen and I'll give you a sneak peek of that and once the rain stops then we will go outside and just see the little progress we got done. So that's part of the color that the kitchen wall will be. 
it's a solid stain wiped off with a rag. Okay guys, I don't think the rain's gonna stop, so I'm just gonna go out in the rain a little bit. Hopefully I don't mess up my camera. It's not raining too hard. Yeah, so I mean, I got set up and I worked on this upper corner so I could make that story pole. Um, so I wanted to get all the way up to that to that edge right in the corner there. If it, yeah, right, right over there. I wanted to go all the way up there, make the story pole. Uh, I did a little bit over here, filled this in, got this uh, this window trim in. That looks nice. And I did a couple courses over here. And my intent was to was to finish putting Tyvek um, under that slicker and kind of finish this side and then and then just start shingling up here and I never really got to it because of the rain um, so unfortunately not the most productive uh, day all right everyone well I hope this video brought you some uh, peace tranquility and relaxation uh, be nice to each other out there and I'll see you next week